I'm getting more and more builders who are coming to me saying they're ready to play ball, they're seeing the value, and in fact, many of them are holding the homes for themselves. Hey, it's Zul coming to you with another video. Uh, this one's a little bit more about what I'm doing and what I'm seeing in the real estate investment world, particularly around single family rentals, build for rent. If you are a real estate investor and you haven't been hearing about build for rent and single family rentals, you probably have your head in the sand somewhere. It is the hottest asset class right now. You know, talking on the structured finance side, the funds, family offices, institutional investors, it is an unprecedented amount of money coming into the space. Are they all gonna be successful? Is every business model the right one? I mean, what's interesting with single family rental and built for rent, new construction rentals, there's a lot of different business models. I'm a little bit more bullish on staying the course of thoughtfully acquiring homes scattered throughout subdivisions and neighborhoods rather than buying whole communities. That being said, I'm doing deals like that. I'm doing whole communities built for rent deals. I mean, the yields are being pushed down incredibly low. There's very little margin for error. And we'll see how these funds operate going forward. And in fact, you know, a lot of funds are coming to us for those operations and really being their back end operation, not only back end, but front end acquisition. So we're acquiring homes in multiple markets for low yield funds. We're acquiring homes from builders programmatically as the homes are being built, uh, scattered through communities. We're acquiring and helping facilitate transactions of buying land and building build for rent developments either on their own completely or within master plan communities. So I would lean more to, you know, let's build a hundred homes within a larger master plan community that is not having a lot of other rentals in there. I mean, over time, you'll notice, if you really look at the numbers, if you say, let's say you have a thousand homes, you know, over time, over 10 to 20 years, a lot of those homes turn into rentals for a lot of reasons. What we're looking at a lot is doing some transactions where it's a large master plan community, maybe the suburbs of Houston, for example, or in Alabama, or in Texas, or in Arizona, where they're allocating a certain number of homes to be single family rentals, more traditional single family rental homes, but then again, more of a multifamily play where there is a contiguous group of homes that are on individual lots, each home, and the financing for those are incredible and the opportunities there are incredible. And I'm getting more and more builders who are coming to me saying they're ready to play ball, they're seeing the value, and in fact, many of them are holding the homes for themselves, which is, I think, a great idea, and also selling off a portion of them. And you know, the funds are there to buy at great yields and maybe if the yield isn't where they would sell on a retail level they're coming in and providing capital to the builder providing an ease of capital and a different skill set on getting deals done where they are helping these builders bridge this either finance gap equity gap whatever it might be so you know if you're out there and you're looking for capital to get your deal done contact me because if a fund can come in and provide that upfront capital and then be the takeout on the back end, there are a lot of opportunities, even if a builder or investor would like to stay in the deal maybe for a certain period of time. There's all kinds of opportunities. So just what I'm seeing in the investment world, I still think that you're seeing where the yield compression has come down to meet the price that it's closer to a retail price for a builder to sell. Even if they uh, can come in a little bit earlier, get a little bit more of a discount, it's even more aggressive. So thanks for watching. Let me know what you think.